we come to that point in our order of worship where we come before God lifting up our joys, our concerns, our thanksgivings. Uh, time to give uh, praise to God for what we've seen Him doing in our life or in the, the world around us. Uh, let me just share, a, a, I'll call them God moments. You know, it's those kind of things that you don't really plan for that, but that happen. Uh, yesterday, I went to Walmart with Jacob and got his hunting license, and I kept thinking, there's something else I'm supposed to do while I'm here. You ever had those kind of days? Well, I get back home, and an hour and a half later, I realized there was something else I was supposed to do while I was there. So I took back off to Walmart, did my shopping, came back out, and as I'm coming out, I see this lady that I haven't seen in a while, and she walks up to me, and we begin talking, and all of a sudden, she grabs hold of the little blue post out in front of Walmart and says, I'm feeling sort of faint. So I get her in, we get her sat down, we talk some more, she assures me she's better, and she's on her way, and I'm on my way. You know, if I'd remembered it that first time, I wouldn't have been back there the second time. So sometimes the Lord works in mysterious ways in our lives. Sometimes those little urgings that we are called on to do that we don't think, well, why would I need to go back there now? Why would I need to do that now? Sometimes those are opportunities to let the Spirit move, to let God use you in ways that you uh, haven't anticipated being used. Uh, that woman had been on my mind for quite a while, but I'd never... Uh, made the contact I wanted to make, but yesterday we were there at the same place at the same time and we had the conversation we needed to have. So uh, just be prepared for the Lord to use you even when you don't expect him to and for through the little things of life. Are there other joys, concerns, thanksgivings we need to share this morning? Nancy, Joe's on the way. Just making sure. If you're, if you're that hot, we'll get you a fan. Would you? <laughs> you know, I don't really. I do have a joy, and I usually. I usually don't do this. But I'm very proud of my son, and I don't know. If y'all have read the, the our great article in the Kingsport paper this morning, but I just want him to know and his family, Miranda and Addison, how very proud I am of him. And I just hope that you all will keep him in your, you know, prayers and everything that, that he's going to be able to, you know, to take hold of this and do this and do a great job, but uh, Joe and I are just very proud of Adam. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what else? Over this way, Joe <clears throat> or Andrew. I'd like to say I'm more than pleased, happy, and all that Sandra's back today. She's had a <laughs> she has had a tough role, and our grandson Matt is going through some of the same thing, and he's having a tough time, but he'll make it just like Sandra did, and he's got the good in his heart that it takes to get, do well. Amen. What else? Paul uh, <laughs> is going back into uh, see the doctor Wednesday for a procedure. He's having trouble with breathing and swallowing food, and they're going to uh, expand his esophagus. So keep him in your prayers. That was Bob. Bob. Oh, okay. I ran into Smokey this week. Y'all know Smokey, don't you? Everybody knows Smokey around town. He was saying that he was having some issues with his heart and was going for some tests and wanted us to keep him in our prayers this week. So let's keep Smokey in our prayers. Uh, my father, Gerald Swanson, just keep him in prayer as he's dealing with the end of life issues. Okay. 
Christy? If, if I may. Oh, Jack? Okay. I had a wonderful privilege yesterday <coughs> to be with uh, Dr. Planer and Betty. We took one of the tours through the museum, touring the forts along the clinch, and it just gives rise to the need for appreciation what sacrifice so many people gave oftentimes their lives so that we could have a community such as this and a church. It was such a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Christy. I have a few, sorry. Um, you keep my mom, Judy Payne, in your prayers. She has to see a cardiologist because she's got a low heart rhythm. It's, it's not, um, they feel that her heart rate is, is main staying low and she's, it's causing her some problems. Nothing life-threatening or anything, but still a nuisance more than anything in her opinion. Um, so she's got to see a cardiologist for that. And also in my hometown of Herndon, Virginia, um, I learned the other night through Facebook, because we tend to learn everything through Facebook, that there were four 2014 graduates from Herndon High School who were traveling on vacation through Texas, and they were hit by a head-on uh, hit by a wrong-way driver head-on, and um, all four of them were killed. And <clears throat> they were all of you know 18, 19 years old. Um, so that's a big blow for that community. And even though I didn't know the families, um, that's still hard to hear um, from your alma mater. And also, I've got a friend in Roanoke. Her name is Kylie. Her and her fiance have had a really hard year. He lost his sister. They lost a baby. Um, they've had some other things take place. And then just recently, they lost one of their cats, um, got hit by a car. And so they have just really need some prayers, and they need to get, get that storm cloud off of them and, and uh, get on to some good times. So if you can keep them in your prayers, I appreciate it. And thank you to everybody who's helped us with these projects around the church so much. We've put in a lot of uh, sweat and everything, and and we do appreciate it. It's looking really good. Got a couple more things to do, and I think we'll be done for a little while, finally. Good. Are there others? Debbie? I have two. One, my grandmother, and all my aunts and uncles and my dad, as they take care of her, they brought her home, but she needs 24-hour care. She can't even get up out of a chair by herself or out of bed by herself right now, so... It's been really tough because two, two people have had to stay with her all the time to help her. So they're working as they work that out. And also, we have a, a foster family in, the, in this county, and uh, the foster mom has nine children in the home. She's an awesome, awesome, awesome foster parent. But she's had some heart issues this week, and they've had to put her in ICU twice. And, with a, and then also, she's going to have to have a pacemaker and um, I found out that they had to put her back into ICU. So if you can please keep them in your prayers. Okay. Back down to Nancy here. Andrew? Um, I need prayer. You, do, you know, keep uh, Clara Barnett in your prayers. Um, Clara has um, cancer, and she's going to be starting a radiation treatments and chemo treatments and um, she is um, in a lot of pain right now and stuff so please just keep her and and that in your in your prayers daily because she truly does um, need them as as everybody that is dealing with that does so I just need her on the prayer chain please. Clara Thank Barnett. You. Okay. What else? Bill? I don't know how many of you saw this, but just a minute ago, a very important person in our lives snuck in here. Beth Hagen sitting over there, and we're so glad to see her with us. What else? Let's go before the Lord in prayer.
Most holy God, we just come into your presence knowing that you are with us in a very special way, that you live within us through the power of your Spirit and that we are your holy temple. And sometimes we just don't understand what that means, but help us to know that you are always there. You know, you don't leave us and forsake us. You don't forget about us. Some, sometimes we forget about you. Sometimes we just sort of turn away from you. But that's us. That's, that's not you. That's not who you are. You loved us. You loved us so much that you sent Jesus into this world for us. And, and you're not going to forsake us now. Not that when we put our trust and faith in him, not when we've relied upon him for our salvation. And so just continue to strengthen us. Just continue to let us be the people that you've called us to be, doing the things that you've called us to do. Let us reach out in your name. Let us find ways to feed the hungry and to clothe the naked and to visit those that are sick and that we can... Just share with everyone around us your great and mighty good news. Be with each of the persons and the situations that we've talked about this morning, Lord, and minister as only you can do and help us to minister in ways that only we can. We ask this in the name of Christ who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever.